Sometimes I like to mix fruit flavours when ordering an ice cream. Cherry and apple go great together. But that's about as scientific as I get. However, many scientists have selectively bred different fruits together to produce some amazing hybrids. Some are available at local supermarkets, while others have been taste tested by dozens of people. Prepare to be amazed by this list of the top 15 strangest hybrid fruits. Amazing! Number 15, Blood Limes. Blood Limes may sound like the title of a slasher film set on a citrus farm, but in reality, they're a cross between a red finger lime and an Ellendale mandarin. The Ellendale mandarin is itself a hybrid of an orange and a mandarin, so the bloodline is a hybrid of a hybrid. The fruit inside is red and fleshy, and the taste is sweeter than a regular lime. Its acidity makes it a good choice for cooking into sauces. Number 14, Rangpur or Cassia Lime. Next we have another citrus hybrid, the Rang Pur or Cassia Lime. This is a combination of lemon and mandarin orange. Although it's called a Rang Pur Lime, it actually has nothing to do with lime. As you can see, many people enjoy it in drinks. Although the Rang Pur is not a lime, it can take the place of that fruit with tequila, as you can see here. It's also very sweet and can be enjoyed without alcohol as well. Number 13, Orangello. The Orangello, not to be confused with Orange Jello, is a combination of an orange and a grapefruit. This one wasn't engineered, but spontaneously appeared on Puerto Rican coffee plantations and was discovered in the 1950s. Orangellos are much sweeter than the typical sour grapefruit, so you can eat it with a spoon, but you don't need to sprinkle it with sugar. Number 12, Ugly Fruit. When I think of ugly fruit, I think of that orange I found covered in mold at the back of my fridge once. As hideous as that was, it's not what the grocer means when he says he stocks ugly fruit. Also called the pomelo, it's a combination of a tangelo, a tangerine and a grapefruit, crossed with a seville orange. It has a lumpy yellow rind, but a good flavour for people who like grapefruit, but want something sweeter. Number 11. Tangelo. The Tangelo is a hybrid of a tangerine and a pomelo or grapefruit. It's often mistaken for an orange due to its bright orange colour, but it has a sort of distinct knob at the end, giving it a different shape. Tangelos are sweet but have a tart aftertaste due to the influence of the grapefruit. However, due to the sweetness, they're also sometimes called honey balls, which brings to mind a combination I really don't want to think about. Number 10. Jostaberry. Never heard of the Jostaberry? Neither had I, probably because it hasn't been harvested on a commercial scale in more than three decades. This rare combination of a gooseberry and blackcurrant is difficult to produce, as the bushes prefer a cold winter and are vulnerable to the gooseberry's natural enemy, the sawfly. If they do survive, they often don't produce fruit for four or five years, so many people give up trying to grow them, and they aren't quickly profitable for farmers. Number 9. Picotum. This hybrid fruit that has the texture of a peach tastes like a mixture of a plum and apricot. Developed by Zyger's genetics, it took more than 10 years to come into fruition. The company used natural methods, not genetic modification, to produce several varieties of the fruit. Many tasters say that all three flavours can be tasted if the picotum is picked near the end of its ripening cycle. However, others say they only taste the plum and apricot elements. Number 8. Oro Blanco. With its green and white colour scheme, green on the outside and white on the inside, the Oro Blanco looks like a bleached lime, but it's actually a pomelo and lime mix. The name means white gold, and sometimes the rind may be more yellow, but usually it has a greenish hue. It's often lauded for having an ideal balance of sweetness and tartness, but had a rocky beginning when it was first introduced by California farmers in the 80s. When picked early in the season, the rind is mostly green, and this was a turn off for grapefruit buyers back in the days of big hair. But since then, Israeli farmers have started growing it and use the green colour as a selling point. Number 7. Lemon Limes Sometimes I wonder where Sprite and 7up come from. It turns out there is a tree that grows a lemon lime flavoured fruit, the Lemon Lime. Behold, a 7up tree. Well, not quite. This fruit is a cross between lemon and limes, but not, unfortunately, carbonated beverages. The neck is long and small, giving the fruit a gourd-like appearance. It also has very dry flesh, so not actually good for making drinks. Maybe that's why lemon-lime soda is the only hybrid of these fruit flavours that's actually caught on. Number 6. 
Pineberry. If I had to guess what a pineberry was, I'd probably guess it was a cross between a pinecone of some sort and some sort of berry, but I'd be wrong. This fruit looks like an anemic strawberry, a very pale, almost white shade of pink. It's actually a cross between the common strawberries you see at the store and a variety of strawberries grown in Hawaii and Pacific coast areas. Apparently the taste is most reminiscent of pineapple. Number 5. Tayberry. A combination of blackberry and red raspberry, the tayberry is not something you often see in the produce aisle. Although it has a sweet, tart flavour and high levels of pectin, a substance that makes it popular for jam, it is also difficult to produce. The berries aren't easy to pick by hand and can't be machine harvested. Another combination of the blackberry and red raspberry, the loganberry, is more commonly seen in stores. Number 4. Mandarin Quat Mandarin Quat doesn't just roll off the tongue like kumquat, but it is a combination of the mandarin and kumquat. Like the latter, the entire fruit can be eaten, peel and all. However, the rind is crunchier and the fruit has a lot of small seeds. With their sweet flavour, they can be eaten raw or cooked in sauces, purees and preservatives. Number 3. Lime Quat this one is a lime and kumquat hybrid. It looks a lot like a small oval shaped orange with greenish skin. However, the taste has a strong tart key lime flavor and it can be eaten whole, used in jams or even paired with main courses like chicken or fish. Number two, pluot or plumcot. On first glance, the pluot or plumcot looks like a regular plum. However, when you cut one open, you can see that the inside is soft and grainy, unlike the firm flesh of a plum. The combination was first created more than 100 years ago and was then a 50-50 combination of the plum and apricot. Horticulturalist Luther Barbank called it a plumcot. Later, a man named Floyd Zager bred the plum and plumcot together to create a fruit that was three-fifths plum and two-fifths apricot. Demand for pluots has increased increased in recent years, and you've probably eaten one without knowing it. Often stores fail to label pluots correctly, and customers think they're buying regular plums. Before I reveal the most amazing example, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to this channel. We upload amazing fact filled videos every day, so don't miss out on learning some amazing new information. Also, make sure to hit that bell icon to be part of the notification squad. Number 1. Lemato this one has come about because some scientists in Israel decided these were the two perfect fruits to combine. The transgenic Lomato also contains a gene that causes it to give off scents of both lemon and rose. It has less lycopene than regular tomatoes, a compound known for reducing the risk of cancer. But on the upside, it also has a longer shelf life. In a taste test, 49 out of 82 people preferred the Lomato to an unaltered tomato. Genetically modified tomatoes are not currently currently sold in the US or Europe, making the Lomato something few people have tasted. Which of these fruit hybrids amazed you the most? Also, what bizarre fruit combinations would you like to see? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave it a like. Thanks for watching.